Hello, everyone. I think this is my first time actually on the community call since I joined the team. My name is Rabeb and uh, I am a senior PM on the Microsoft Graph team. And I am here today to make sure that you know that we now have support for PowerShell code snippets, both on our documentation portal, but also on Graph Explorer. So for anyone on the call who doesn't know about Graph Explorer or did not use Graph Explorer yet, which I highly recommend, please go and try Graph Explorer. Uh, Graph Explorer is basically a developer tool uh, that would allow you to experiment, test, as the name says, to really discover what we have to offer within Graph, the Graph API. So you can run queries, see what you re require for your request, what would the response look like, etc. And on top of that, we also offer a set of features to make it quicker and easier for you to build your apps. For example, the code snippets, which we will be talking about today, as well as few integrations. We do have integration with the Microsoft Graph Toolkit or the adaptive cards, for example. So along with the documentation in a nutshell, we are here to make sure uh, to empower you basically with what you need to build apps faster and to give you a good, a great uh, developer experience and that's why your feedback is more than valuable to us please 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 always keep giving us feedback because it's because of this feedback when people ask for something that we know oh this is really important we really need to work on this and that was the case with the uh, PowerShell code snippets the community uh, was asking for them and obviously, we do have code snippets for other languages, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, etc. And the community was asking for PowerShell. And, and I'm happy to announce that earlier this year, we did add support uh, for the code snippet support for PowerShell, both on our documentation portal, but on uh, Graph Explorer as well. So uh, please go ahead, uh, test, try things, and uh, let us know uh, what you think. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you a quick demo. It's straightforward and simple, really, just to see where you can find the code snippets, what you could do with them, etc. But to spare you all me being all over the place with my different windows on screens, I did already record uh, the demo. So uh, here is the demo now. So here I am on Graph Explorer and I can see that with the sample sandbox, I can do few queries. I can see my profile, uh, who's in my network, etc. But I really want a little bit more than that. I want the ability to be able, you know, to add, delete, modify, and that's not possible but using the um, sample sandbox, obviously. I need to sign in with my own account, but that's a little bit of a dilemma for me because I don't want to sign in with my professional account and maybe accidentally delete data that I should not be deleting. Um, luckily for me and for you, there is the uh, M365 developer program, which offers me a fully loaded sandbox with, uh, I believe, 16 users and all their data and relationships would will allow me to um, experiment and play around Graph Explorer without using any real data. So I already got my account, my developer account. I'm going simply to sign in using that account. Sign in. Uh, skip this for now. Yes, please. And here I am. Now, I'm going to keep this fairly simple uh, and let's just run the uh, get my profile query, which is get the signed in user. So if I run this query, I can see who the user is and I can see their ID. Let's pay attention to this because we will need it later. If I check the code snippets, I can see that there is code in here, hooray. And 
on top of C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, etc., now we have also PowerShell. Here we go. If I go to the documentation portal as well, uh, if I go to the right place, I can also see that I have the same thing here and PowerShell is also uh, available. Now, what can I do with this? Can I really run this? Let's see. First of all, if you don't already have the PowerShell SDK installed, uh, it's super easy. Uh, by the end of this presentation, I will leave a few links, including this one, which is a step-by-step -step instructions on how to get the SDK and install it, do all you need to do, authentication, etc. Because I already have the SDK and I am authenticated, in theory, I should immediately run this. Also, because I chose to install all the submodules, I won't need to specifically say add this module because I already have it. So all I need really is this. So we do a simple copy, paste, and then go back here. My response preview, where is my ID? Gonna grab my ID and here we go. Paste here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So, as you can see, by literally simply copy paste, my favorite development method, <laughs> I can already see the user that is signed in and all uh, their details. So, let's go and try something else. Let's say I want to see um, the teams for this user. And this is join teams, run this query. And do we have something? Yes, I can see a bunch of stuff in here. Let's make this a little clearer. So we have all of this in here. If I go check Oh, this is how, how do we do this in PowerShell? Here we go. Okay. Again, if I just copy this, let's copy just this bit, control C here. And I know that I need my user ID, which is this one. Control V. And here we go. So I can see that my user is part of all these different teams, uh, public relations, sales, marketing, etc. And so, yeah, so basically that's the idea is to help you quickly transition from trying on Graph Explorer or you know, reading on the documentation to literally by simply copy paste the code snippet, you have something that is running and working. So that's the end of the demo. If you did notice the second time I was trying to get teams, it was saying, oh, there is no snippet available. And it took some time to finally find the snippet. The reason for that, because it's a little bit slow, so Graph Explorer was like, oh, there's no snippets. While in fact, they are there. Um, that is a known issue. We are currently working on it. But again, please, if you see anything, feel free to file uh, issues on GitHub or within Graph Explorer, click on the little dot feedback for us and leave us all your feedback. So yeah. So that's that. That's what I wanted to share with you. Just wanted to make sure that you know we have those code snippets available. Uh, I'm leaving a few uh, links to try Graph Explorer, the documentation, the PowerShell documentation as well here. And that's me. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rebeb. And there's some uh, folks who were wondering how you were presenting without moving your lips because they <laughs> they Magic. forgot it was recorded video. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this. It's great to see. I know we've heard lots of feedback on getting uh, PowerShell snippets in there. Glad that we're finally getting that out there. And again, yes, please do hear your feedback. Try out the feature. We'd love to hear what you think of this. That's uh, great to see.
Thank you.